All right, so this is my current setup for my printer small farm. And today I've got a package, that's it too, that's all them. So I got the package from Prusa today. And one of them is a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. And the upgrade kit for my XL. Currently I have only one tool at the moment, so but uh, I didn't have money at the time. I still don't, but uh, I can afford it. Uh, for another tool now, so I bought that, but um, well, I can't still afford to have five tools. So this is the upgrade kit, and uh, the reason why I bought 0.4 millimeters nozzle is that it turns out to be uh, 0.6, the, the one that currently have. It's not that good compared to 0.4 for the input shaper thing which print faster so let's open this up I, I've ordered this on like 30th of January and today I got the package on the 15th so it took like two weeks Oops. All right, let's see what we got uh, papers for today I'm just gonna just have a just open box thing for today uh don't have time for assemble them right now so oh. this is tools again and bloody high balls again all right high ball tools oh. okay another extra tools good I got two packages one hang on what's the two next through the This is this uh, thing? Okay, so let's open this up. Oh, alright. Recyclable papers. What do you have? Some. Oh. So that's the. Mm, okay. Point four nozzles. What's this? Some um, filament sensor thing. Uh, silicon band. Uh, screws with the. Push pins, whatever it calls, full changer, lower lock. And there you go. Bunch of bunch of screws. Alright, that's that. And what's the in the other box then? Uh, oops. Oh we got a hole there. Oh, that's the main one. Okay, so another uh, the tool holder for the second filament, and this is the main one. Oh, it's a tool changer thing, which I do not have. So uh, it looks they use like this kind of. I thought that was a magnet, but anyway, some weird looking. Uh, 
mechanisms, mechanisms, whatever. What? What? Hang on. What? What? I just have to buy. What's this then? Uh, yes, this. Already, they have a nozzle there. Okay. Um, it looks quite it's quite different compared to the single head. Is that? Single one is just fixed, where this tool changer does not exist in my current system. But now I we're going to have one. So, well, this will be fit over there somewhere, and then use this mechanism to change the tools. So, it's going to be interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Well, it costs a bit so and this is the like reason to have Prusa XL if you have like single two head just like me you only have like 50% reason to have Prusa XL so uh, some wiring harness whatever it called hmm well, it looks like that is it Fireball. Okay, so today so I'm just gonna run through what, uh, what like what's in the package, and I've looked at it all. So tomorrow or the later, maybe later, I can have fun with this uh, single uh, dual dual head printer. Now. Okay, so. Alright, so thanks for watching and just uh, did a little bit of unboxing for multi two head, um, two head uh, upgrade kit, I'll say. Alright, so I just want to say a few things to our single two head users uh, so that uh, the reason why uh, I think the person who have single two head is using only like uh, 60 or 70 percent of this Prusaxel potential because if you just have two single tool head, then you are only using like a large version of MK3 or MK4, whatever they have. So, uh, with the ultra multiple heads, or five is the best, but um, it's quite expensive. So, uh, you can have two good things like you can print multi color. But I think the most good thing, the most beneficial thing is that you can have um, two or five different materials at one piece. So that like PLA is just a base and TPU in the middle or PTG or carbon fiber or any other materials. You can mix up with them and have some really cool stuff, I guess. So, um, so uh, that's... I think this, this is a good part, that's the most uh, like strongest part of Prusa XL that other 3 printers do not have. Uh, well, the really fancy ones have ones, like they use multi-heads, but uh, like, uh, like Hobbist, whatever, like this kind of level, I think this is the right tool. I haven't actually built it yet, I haven't actually fit into that yet, but I think, uh, I think other people are doing alright, so um yeah so that's just my opinion thank you very much for watching and maybe i can explain this about my setting later i got a little camera over there too so right so uh, thanks for watching bye